Hello, this is Donna Ginther. I direct the Institute of Policy and Social Research at the University of Kansas. And my colleague, Carlos Zambrana and I asked the question, do masks matter in Kansas? So um, we wanted to know whether masks are really working. On July 3rd, the governor implemented a mask mandate for the entire state, but counties could opt out of the mask mandate. And on the map, you see every county in white does not have a mask mandate. Every county that's in the green has a mask mandate and everything that has little hatches on it are not enforcing the mask mandate. And finally, you see cities like Manhattan have a mask mandate, but the surrounding county of Riley does not. So we wanna look at these counties with the mask mandate and compare them to the counties without the mask mandate. And we do that using a difference and differences model. This is really a workhorse of econometric analysis. We can think of the counties with a mask mandate as the treatment counties and counties without a mask mandate as the control. And so we wanna look at cases in the treatment before and after and take the difference. And then we wanna look at the control counties without mask mandates before and after and take the difference. And then the difference in these two differences between the treatment and control is the treatment effect of masks on the number of COVID-19 cases. Um, so the data that we're using are the total number of cases per county from March through October. Uh, we get that from the New York Times website, uh, the 2019 population per county from the US Census Bureau. City and county face masks mask policies from the Kansas Health Institute and social mobility data uh, from the Maryland Transportation Institute. Uh, certain counties imposed mask orders after uh, July 11th. These were the late adopters. Um, and so uh, these are listed here. And uh, then we wanna look at the cases per 100,000, the seven day rolling average. We, we take the seven day average because there's a lot of noise in daily cases. And we're very interested in looking at the trend. And you see that counties with no masks had huge increases in May. This is meat packing and then subsided. And then starting with the July 3rd mandate, counties with uh, mask ordinances actually had higher case rates. And then you see a slight increase for no mask. And then about 14 days later, you know, after the incubation period of COVID-19, you see a decrease in counties with masks mandates and they kind of stay flat from here on out. Whereas in counties without the mandates, you see them starting in September, starting to exceed the number of cases per 100,000 population compared to counties with a mask mandate. So a huge increase and a flattening when you wear masks. We did the same thought experiment. And in this case, we're just looking at Johnson County and compared to the rest of the counties without a mask mandate. And again, you see the same pattern, a, a slight downward trending, pretty much flat and a huge increase in the no mask counties. Finally, Sedgwick County uh, was kind of an interesting case because the city of Wichita had a mask mandate, but the county did not until much later. So it was in perfect compliance, but you see even in Sedgwick County, cases remained flat and then trended downwards before starting to trend up compared to the no mask counties where cases just went up. So this is just the data and we wanna test this using a statistical model. So we'll estimate the number of cases per 100,000 per day and we regress it on whether or not they have a mask mandate. We also control for whether or not uh, people are moving around by using these social distancing measures. And we control for day and county fixed effects. So we're interested in the, uh, the significant, the size and the sign of this coefficient on the mandate. And here are our results. So we look 20 wind days later after the mask mandate and say what the estimated effect is. And for the full sample, uh, we see there's a seven case per day reduction in um, COVID cases. And you compare this to the mean of the number of COVID cases, which is 14, that's a 50% reduction 
when we add in controls for, um, in the second regression, we add in controls for the uh, social distancing and you see the parameter estimate doesn't really change. It's still seven fewer cases. In Johnson County, that estimate is six and a half fewer cases. And in Sedgwick County, that's nine fewer cases per 100,000 per day. It's a 61% reduction. Again, this analysis drops the counties that had a late mandate or no enforcement or city only mandate. So we're comparing the white counties to the shaded counties in the map. So the question is, do masks work in Kansas? The answer seems to be yes. We found a 50% reduction in the spread of COVID-19 in counties that had a mask mandate compared to those without. Masks, it is important to note, do not eliminate COVID, but they significantly slow the spread of the disease, at least here in Kansas. Thank you very much.